How you feeling? I feel surprisingly well. And you? I'm uh, not the one recovering from a hit and run. Still, Stone Cold looks fatigued. I, mean, I hope it was just merely a sleepless night and that you weren't engaging in nihilistic or self-destructive activities. Hello. How's everyone's favorite patient today? Surprisingly chipper this morning, thank you. Looks like your temperature's gone down. Excellent. If you check on my piece of bolt, um, you can't help but notice a little tension in the air, and it... And it well, I can't help but wonder, did... Did, um, did you receive a call or other communication from the maternal one last night? Um, the Jekyll fears he may have said something untoward that's causing Fair Elizabeth inner turmoil. You know what, Spinelli? You should channel all that energy you're wasting on me into your own recovery. My abject apologies. Uh, it, it seems that in order to improve the situation, I have had the opposite effect. You know, you, you have uh, an amazing imagination. Okay, and I, I admire that. Sometimes I even think of what it would be like, but it takes you to crazy places. This ridiculous idea that I'm in some kind of relationship with Sasha. I am not. And to tell Elizabeth I am, no matter how well-intentioned, you put her in a position to be hurt by me over something that's not even happening. Okay, I, I, need, to, I need to know that you understand right now, Spinelli. Oh, good. You're both here. I have been subpoenaed to testify at Johnny Zakar's trial, which it means unless one of you can get me out of it, I'm going to spend the next best years of my life wearing some ugly orange jumpsuit, and I'll tell you both I'd rather be shot dead where I stand. Now, it's like a horror film on an endless mental loop. I'm going to get on the stand, and Scott Baldwin will be looking at me with those mean little beady eyes, and he's going to start yelling at me and giving me trick questions. It's not going to matter what I say. I'm going to sound guilty, and then he's going to catch me in a lie, and, and I'm going to feel cornered, and my mouth's going to start flapping way ahead of my brain, and then he's going to charge me with perjury or, or accessory after the fact or obstruction of justice. God knows what else. I'm going to miss the whole sexual peak of my life on account that I'm going to be in jail because I decided to cover for Lulu's murdering butt instead of calling my dad and turning her in immediately. Okay, last Tuesday is working herself into a state rapidly re resembling hyperventilation for no good reason. You're under the protection of Stone Cold. He'd never allow you to go to prison. Is that just Spinelli's hero worship talking, or can you really get me out of testifying? Oh, I know. Maybe you could, like, break Scott Baldwin's kneecaps or leave a horse head on his bed. That's not going to get you what you want. Okay, if I threaten Baldwin on your behalf, he's going to know that you have something to hide. Hello? I do have something to hide. Both of you better make sure it stays hidden. Spinelli, do you think you could arrange a new identity for me? Like working credit cards and everything? I could, but I, I don't think that's the wisest course. Well, nobody has to disappear. That's easy for okay, you to just say. just hold on. Maxie, you're very resourceful. You think faster on your feet than anybody. But can you keep your mouth shut when you have to? No, you don't understand. There's something about being in a, a room full of people with all eyes on me that makes my internal editor just fly out the window. I mean, I open my mouth and it's anybody's guess what's going to come out. Did you hear about my sister's memorial service? I plan on saying all these nice things about Georgie and I ended up just yelling at my mom and making her leave. Well, that's different from being on the witness stand. Yeah, I know. My life wasn't on the land at the memorial service. But it will be at court and Scott Baldwin's going to be yelling at me and poking holes in every lie. Okay, that's what you're missing. You don't, you don't have to lie. You just tell the truth as you know it. You don't volunteer any information. You don't give Baldwin any more ammunition. He doesn't already have. Okay? You've told your story enough on record. It should be reflexed by now. All you got to do is say it again. And I know that you can do that. That sounds like a vote of confidence. Should I be flattered? Probably not. All right. Well, I'm going to get back to work. I'll stop by later. Stone Cold's advice is the path you should take. I know. I'm gonna try. I, I really am. I'm just I'm terrified. I mean, what if I mess everything up? Have you ever... Maybe Jason's right. Maybe Scott will be so focused on making Johnny look guilty that he'll stick to the facts as he knows them and I can get on and off the stand without ruining anything. I still wish Jason would just threaten Scott into oblivion, but... You know, I, I fear Stone Cold's ruthless efficiency may have been compromised by unwise actions on my part. 
you that whole Jason Sasha affair was all in your head, Spinelli. No, I know that now. I just, but before I was struck by enlightenment, I'd already. Mm. Will you excuse us for a minute? I have to check his vitals. Yeah, I, I should go. Feel better, okay? Bye. Bye. Fair Elizabeth? Mm-hmm. Have I inspired your anger? Why would you ask such a thing? Yeah, but it was I who urged you to make forbidden contact with Stone Cold. Spinelli, you don't have to apologize. What happened last night is on me and Jason, no one else. Who 